wonder how the brain of a top gun works? How it can make thousands of life or death decisions in a few fractions of a second? Well, that was one of the questions running through the mind of Dr Jack Gray. But he wasn't interested in sticking wires into the brains of the flyboys. He wanted to study a pilot that could knock any top gun for six. Meet the Locust, the ultimate formation flyer. I'm pretty fond of them. They're, they're very well adapted creatures. What Dr. Gray wanted to do was to find out how the locust's primitive nervous system allowed it to fly and navigate in massive swarms without constantly colliding into its mates. So how do you study an insect flying? Meet Loco Simulator 1. First, the locust is fixed to a small length of fishing line and then suspended in a specially designed wind tunnel. As soon as the fan begins to turn, the locust feels the wind over its head and does what locusts do best, fly. The locust moves freely, allowing Dr Gray to film and study its natural behavior. And to make the locust do more than simply fly forward, Dr. Gray projected images of possible objects onto a screen inside the wind tunnel. What he found confirmed his suspicions, that the locust's brain was extremely responsive. It has very fast neurons that can detect approaching objects and allowing the locust to make that very fast decision as to where to go. Dr. Gray's wind tunnel had proved to him that locust brains can react extremely fast to stimulus, but it wasn't enough. He wanted to dig deeper and actually see what their brains were doing. And for that, he needed a new simulator. Now the locust is mounted on a small pillar, with sensors monitoring its nervous system. Instead of the crude images of LocoSim 1, the locust is now immersed in a virtual reality world and is free to fly wherever it wants to. When the locust is in the flight simulator, I mean, we've actually turned it into a joystick. And so when the locust tries to move, that signal moves the environment in a way the locust might expect it to. Although it's a long way off, there are some who think we may be able to use the signals coming from the locust nervous system to control not just the simulator, like Dr. Gray has, but tiny aircraft that can fly by themselves. However, it's going to take a long time for a human Top Gun to turf the Top Guns out of the cockpit.